Hello, my name is Stephen Combs. I'm the Chancellor for Ivy Tech Community College Columbus, and I want to welcome you to our Muscatatuck Urban Training Center Cybersecurity Showcase. I'm standing outside of Building 1. You can see our banners, and this is the location of our courses. Our cybersecurity program at Muscatatuck is extremely unique, and it's a one-of-a-kind program in the nation. What you will find as you watch our showcase today is the unique nature of the environment in which you would be living, potentially, and learning to obtain a cybersecurity degree in 11 months from Ivy Tech Community College. Along the way, you'll also obtain three nationally recognized certifications that will add to your portfolio of education. Muscatatuck Urban Training Center provides you as a student with some very unique learning opportunities. For instance, on this facility, we have a flooded city. We have an agricultural farm that is live and working with our own camel. Her name is Sahara. It's also home to Indiana's only subway station with a subway that goes about five feet this way and about five feet this way. But on top of that, we also have this facility that we've provided where we're building a state-of-the-art learning environment for cybersecurity. We have a classroom, we have labs that have network infrastructure that you as a student can work and learn how to secure that network, how to harden those networks, and then also how do you work in teams to prepare and protect that equipment. If you choose to live on site, you're also gonna have an extremely unique experience because you're gonna see things that you would never see on any other campus. For instance, we regularly have helicopters in the sky here. We regularly have units on the ground that are practicing tactical operations. Once a year is a large scale operation that brings military, it brings police, it brings fire and rescue all to a single location and that you as a student will get to participate in those operations. So all the unique features that I've described today are interconnected and all of the connectivity is facilitated and managed through our CYROC, which is our Cyber Operations Center. And as a student, you will have an opportunity to see those operations and to also be a part of those operations. The facility also includes a connected home, which has smart devices that some of you probably have in your homes, and you're gonna learn how to protect and secure your home network devices as well as your home network. So while you're learning at Ivy Tech Community College at the Cyber Academy in Building 1, we also have behind me, over the camera here, is a dorm facility where you will have an opportunity to actually live here on site. And that creates another unique situation for you because you'll be able to experience what Muscatatuck has to offer 24-7. You're in a secure environment, you get to see operations, and you get to interact with the personnel that are conducting operations here at the site. So why should you as a student have interest in the Cybersecurity Academy at Muscatatuck Urban Training Center? First off, we're going to prepare you for a high wage, high demand career in 11 months. You'll be competing with your four-year counterparts and you'll be applying for jobs in the $70 to $100,000 range after 11 months. You'll also have the advantage of having unique experiences that you can list on your resume that no other college can provide nationally. Ivy Tech Community College is the state's two-year community college. Because of our open accessibility, we also offer the lowest tuition rates of any higher education institution in Indiana. We're also the largest institution in Indiana. So what that means for you is you're going to have access to this program at a very low cost. You're going to have little to no student debt when you leave. And then we're going to also find ways to work with you to reduce your burden for college through the use of financial aid. Multiple scholarships are available. We'll help you review your dual credit transcripts and see what we can transfer in. So while we may have a total cost per package for this program, each individual will have ways to reduce their cost to attend. Another thing that makes this program unique is you're going to be in class not only with other Indiana Hoosiers, but you're also going to be in classes with folks outside of the state of Indiana. We've started to attract national interest, and those students are both civilians and National Guardsmen and reservists. So you will have a mix of military personnel and civilians. It's important to note that while this program is on a military installation, it is not required that you join the military. As a matter of fact, we hope that you will come without an interest in the military to begin with, and maybe you will develop that interest, or maybe you'll just be able to take advantage of the experiences that you have, have a better appreciation for the military, and be able to take those experiences and appreciation to other roles in the corporate or business world. We created this program in 2018 through a collaboration of many offices, the Adjutant General's Office, then the Indiana Defense Network, and also the, the Governor's Office. And all of those folks came together and saw how important it was for us to create this unique program. As a matter of fact, the Governor of the State of Indiana attended our groundbreaking ceremony as well as did the Adjutant General at that time. 
It was an exciting event. We held it right here where you see I am located right now. And uh, those are the other types of activities that you as a student will be involved in. We have multiple visits. Uh, you'll get a chance to talk about the program with our constituents, with legislators. Okay, so enough of me introducing the location. Why don't we go ahead and take a look and uh, walk around the facility. And as we go, you're gonna see some of the unique features that we have like soldiers walking by just in the background. So this is our classroom. This is where students will participate in classes. We are still in building one. We also have TVs throughout the classroom so that we can broadcast what the teacher would like for you to see. And the instructor uses these on a regular basis to show their slides, show programming, show security concepts. And it's really just a neat space for all of you to participate in your cybersecurity classes. the bus stop. The bus stop is Brush Creek Transit, Public Transit, 5113 East 6th Avenue. And this is not an active bus station. You wouldn't be able to take a bus here. However, it is another training facility. Now, what I want to point out are these buses right here. Through our unique partnerships, a organization in Columbus was able to provide these buses through Ivy Tech to the facility so that we could provide a more dynamic and lifelike bus station. So this is just another unique opportunity for you. Again, it is connected. There are ATMs inside that they plan to interconnect to our cybersecurity network, and that would be an opportunity potentially for students to learn how to secure those devices as well. Okay, so we're here at Building 16, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the doors and actually take a look at the Cyber Operations Center that I mentioned at the beginning of the showcase. So now we're in the Cyber Operations Center. This is where everything that is interconnected is controlled and observed, and this is where they can conduct tactical operations. And this is typically where you might find a leadership team who is conducting cyber operations stage so that they can keep an eye on networks, they can keep an eye on equipment, and then again, they can keep an eye on that interconnectivity, but also to check to make sure that they, have, uh, that they protect the network from what we call bad actors. And so it's a great place to learn how to harden networks and then how to secure networks using the cybersecurity skills that you will develop while you're here at the Academy. So the gym facility is here on uh, site as well and you actually have access to 24 seven. It is a uh, full service gym. It's a very nice facility. And uh, it is just an extra perk that we have for students while they're here at Muscatatuck Urban Training Center. You'll also notice as we pan around some of the unique architecture and some of the unique training environments, there's a tank over here, if you can see that. And we do our class photos by that tank. So eventually you'll have an opportunity to have your picture taken at the tank with your classmates. We also have a chapel here. This chapel is used for events primarily, but on occasion when there are military troops, it will actually feature and function as a full chapel. Over to this area, you can start to see additional architecture, some of the unique things that this facility has to offer. Here is another view of building one, which is your classroom building. This is really just a fun location. This is an area that we call the flooded city or the flooded town. You will see that we have these buildings in this pond, so to speak. And what it does is provides an opportunity for those who need to 
practice rescue operations to see what it would be like to do rescue operations in a flooded environment. And so you can actually go underneath the water, and if you do go under the water in your scuba gear, you're going to find simulated things that you would find. Some of those I'm sure are scary, but some of them are just general things that you would find like chairs and, and children's toys and those things. But again, another very interesting environment that is only available at Muscatatuck Urban Training Center as part of a college program. So now we're here at the United States Embassy, and this is obviously not a working embassy, but it is a training embassy, and it's probably, my understanding is it's one of the few, if not the only, training embassy in the nation. So let's go around the gate and let's take a look at it. So you can see the embassy behind me, and it's an opportunity for those that train in embassy operations to learn how to run an embassy, but if you look around, you're gonna notice a wall that goes around the whole containment area of the embassy. And that is so that folks can practice how to do emergency operations in an embassy location as well, how to do secure, how to rescue. And uh, so again, it's a really unique environment. And again, this is all interconnected into the Cybertropolis or the cyber network that's available that you would see when you go to the CyRock, what's happening at this facility and this location. Smart Home, and the Smart Home is an opportunity for folks who are at Muscatatuck Urban Training Center to understand what all those smart devices mean in your home. What's really nice is, it's uh, right in front is a very nice duck pond. You can come down here and you can just hang out and listen to the fountains going. Those fountains, I believe, are interconnected, which is interesting. But if we swing around here, you'll see, oh, look, there's uh, somebody taking a picture now. Look, we got a tourist over there. Look at that. So we swing around though. This is the actual Smart Home. And the smart home again has all those technologies inside the Alexas, the Google Home Assistants, all those things in smart devices, smart, um, smart tablets, smart light bulbs, smart locks, all those things are in there and can be explored. We can train on those and we're working closer with Muscatatuck to learn how students can get involved and engaged in those operations and that training environment. Okay, so we're here at the Ivy Tech Community College dorm. It's not actually our dorm though. It's actually run by the uh, state of Indiana through the Adjutant General's Office. They're a great partner with us, but you can see we've got it greened and logoed, but this is where you would be living as you're learning here. It's a wonderful facility. We It has been commented that these dorm rooms are larger than any other dorm rooms in the state, which we like to have that. But the other nice thing is you're within a very short walking distance of building one which is the building that we had talked about where you would have classes, you just follow this walk, you hang a right, and you're basically at the building. So you're in very close proximity to your classroom. You will also have an RA or a resident advisor who will live here and they are an employee of the Adjutant General's office who's helping provide this. And uh, it's just a great partnership to make sure that you have a great facility to learn in, but it's also a safe facility. Okay, so that's our tour of Muscatatuck Urban Training Center. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it over to Pam Schmelz, who's going to talk about the curriculum that you'll find at the Cybersecurity Academy. Hi, I'm Pam Schmelz, and I'm going to talk to you today about the curriculum for the Cyber Academy. Our program has been designated a Center of Academic Excellence for Cybersecurity Education by the Department of Homeland Security and the National Security Agency. We were certified in 2012 and recertified in 2017. Our program includes national certifications, and we'll get to those details here in a minute. And um, it's being hosted at the Muscatatuck Cyber Academy, as you've already heard. This allows access to lots of different types of opportunities along through the curriculum. Because we are certified with the Departments of Homeland Security and the National Security Agency, we are in curricular alignment with best practices from the National Security Agency. So you will see here 
that we've got a summary of the courses that you'll be taking as well as kind of the time frame. So you're going to start your cohort in August and you the program is divided up into five eight week sections. So in the first eight weeks you're going to take uh, your English class, uh, student success class. Uh, we'll do that the first week, uh, the orientation during the orientation week. So that's not a class you'll actually take during with all your other classes. And the hardware software support class in coordination with the workforce prep CompTIA A plus certification class, which is shown in the second eight weeks. We actually run that across the two eight weeks because that's a two part test. So we, after the first eight weeks, you take the first part. After the second eight weeks, you take the second part. And so that allows that material to kind of sink in and, and allows you to practice a little more with it as well. Second eight weeks, we kind of get into, away from the fundamentals and into the uh, more meaty uh, courses with our introduction to cybersecurity, our network fundamentals, and introduction to Linux and virtualization. Our third eight weeks, we have network protocol analysis, which is a Wireshark class. And that is a tool that gets introduced to you in various other classes, but this course is really built around understanding Wireshark. And in this third eight weeks, also um, you're gonna start getting into some of the competition season, which we'll talk about in the next uh, slide. We'll have math, another networking class and public speaking. As you're looking at this curriculum, you can see why we're really suggesting that you have those general education classes done prior to coming to the Cyber Academy, because you, that just gives you more time to work with the, the um, technical content. Moving on to the fourth eight weeks, we hit the cybersecurity hard. Um, we're gonna do the Network Plus certification during this set of eight weeks, because we um, have now had our networking fundamentals classes. We're going to look at digital forensics, perimeter defense, and which is uh, you writing a security policy and ethical hacking. Then we finalize our, our um, courses in the fifth eight weeks, which is the summer of next year. And you have a project management class, a business continuity class, and we're gonna take our security plus certification because now we've worked through all, almost all of our security courses and have a, had a good um, experience with those. So that should give you good background for the Security Plus certification. We have a couple of general education courses and our capstone class. Our program is accredited by the uh, Higher Learning Commission of the North Central Association of Colleges and Schools. That's important to know because what that means to you is that these credits are transferable to other institutions. You're going to be at school four days a week or five, depending on what the schedule happens to be, eight o'clock in the morning until five o'clock at night, roughly, uh, studying your, your material. Because remember, this is an accelerated course. We are finishing that the Associate of Applied Science, which is 60 credit hours, in 11 months when it takes most people two to three years to finish. You will have a, a learning experience because you will be immersed. You'll have your cohort with you. You'll be forming study groups. You'll be working on projects together. This is not available to any other cybersecurity students at Ivy Tech or anywhere else. So some of the learning opportunities I've mentioned, one was the National Cyber League. And this is a competition that we do in the spring. Again, it's during that third semester, third eight week section. And it's a nationwide competition that has an individual competition and a team competition. And our students have done very well on both of those. There's another competition that is put on by the Evansville campus. So we will drive over to Evansville and participate in their day of cyber, which is an, a capture the world type of play. We did that and it was a lot of fun. And it's awesome to support our campuses here in the southern part of Indiana. We also have a state we, statewide IT challenge that occurs typically in the April timeframe as well. It is going, it has been changing in what it looks like. And the newest thing is it's gonna be kind of like a game-a-thon. Uh, so you'll basically be working in, in teams to solve a problem, whether it's coding, it's identifying cybersecurity pieces to it. Um, there, there's a lot of stuff, but the main thing is that it, you'll be working with students from across the state 
in other IT disciplines. So it's a cross-functional work team, just like you would have in real life. You have the opportunity to go to conferences. There's lots of free and low cost conferences to attend. Uh, there's a computer club and also a Wixis chapter. And Wixis is women in cybersecurity. So it is specifically targeting our women in, in cybersecurity. It's founded at Muscatatuck, but is also open to our other female cybersecurity students at the Columbus campus. This concludes our virtual Muscatatuck Urban Training Center Cybersecurity Showcase. If you're interested in learning more, contact Chelsea Shaw at 812-374-5117 or you can check out our website at ivytech.edu slash cyberacademy. You can also send an email to cyberacademy at ivytech.edu. If you're watching this video as part of a YouTube premiere or a hosted cybersecurity virtual showcase, be sure to look at the video description below for more information on how you can connect immediately and join our online Q&A, where you will find representatives in a chat room ready to answer your questions. Also remember to follow the Columbus Facebook page at fb.com slash ivytechcolumbus where you can find out more about our campus and also join our Muscatatech Urban Training Center Cybersecurity Group. Thank you for participating in this virtual showcase. So basically I can just tap it and so I have an NFC reader that stores a bunch of different NFC chips that I have. Um, once it reads one that's uh, allowed to open my door, basically the Raspberry Pi sees that, tells the servo to go ahead and turn the, the deadbolt, and then it locks or unlocks. So it keeps track of what the position of the deadbolt is at this time, and then obviously just reverses whatever position it's at.